Hello, my name is Christian Durant and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up your radio using the Radio Configuration Utility Tool. To set up your FRC radio, you're going to need a Cat5 Ethernet cable. I highly suggest that you begin by disabling any other network adapters that you may have, as they might interfere with the process of setting up the radio. All you're going to need is this Ethernet adapter here. So to begin, let's launch the FRC radio configuration utility that we downloaded with the game tools in the first tutorial. Once the utility opens, let's begin by selecting Ethernet from the drop-down menu. In this team number slot here, enter your team number. For me, I'll put 3653. This robot name here can be named whatever you'd like. It's going to be the name of the network that shows up in the Wi-Fi list. So for this tutorial, I'm going to put Botcats. WPA key here is the password that you're going to have to input to access the network. For this tutorial, I will put Botcats1. And for the mode, I'm going to select 2.4 GHz access point. For this tutorial, I'm assuming that you have a working robot with you, so let's begin by turning on the robot. Make sure to disconnect the power cable from the radio, though, so that the robot is on but the radio is off. To begin, you need to connect your Ethernet cable from your computer to the radio. For this video, I'm going to be plugging it into the passive power over Ethernet port labeled 18 to 24 VPOE. Once you have your Ethernet cable connected to your computer and the radio, the radio is off and the robot is on. We can begin by pressing load firmware here. Once this dialog comes up, you can plug the power cable from the robot into the radio to power it on. Once it's powered on, the utility will detect the radio and begin flashing the firmware. Once the utility tool finishes flashing the firmware, it'll pop up with this dialog here saying radio firmware flashed successfully. If you ran into any complications along the way, you can always email us at the programming division email listed in the description below. We still have to configure the radio, however. So with the radio on, we're going to press this configure button here. But make sure that you have input all of your information above correctly. Once the configuration is done, you can press OK and exit out of the program. After that, you've successfully configured your FRC radio. Make sure to re-enable your other network adapters so you can connect to the radio. You can now disconnect the Ethernet cable from the radio and the computer. At this point, you can connect the Ethernet cable from the robo radio of your robot to the radio. You can check if it was successfully configured if you go into your Wi-Fi list and your radio appears in the list. Here we can see 3653 Botcats was successfully configured. I could connect to it here and we're good to go. It didn't ask me for a password because I had already connected to it. That's it for this video. I hope I was able to help you configure your FRC radio. Thank you for watching.